Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls Remastered, the final one, guys. Where we beat Lord Gwyn and end the Let's Play. I hope you guys are as excited for as I am. We are going to be speaking to Frampt and letting him take us down to the Lord base. Of course, all good things oh, have to no, come to an end. I'm fine. And I'm fine. Although Dark Souls is my favorite game ever. And I love it. You know, at some point we do have to beat... I thought we can... Can't we just fall down here? Yeah. I was like, why am I even talking to this dude? I can just fall down here. It does exactly the same thing. Magically. It's magic, guys. See? Magic. Yeah, you know, Lord Gwyn, guys. Be prepared. Quite a few deaths incoming. Quite a few attempts incoming. You know, it's not an easy boss. It's the final boss. Of course, it's going to be difficult. Of course, it's going to be a challenge. And he's got a bunch of security guards along the way, which we'll kill each and every single one of them. Before finally finishing the Let's Play right up by Gwyn. And of course... Being the good boys that we are and linking that flame, baby. Linking that flame. Happy ending for our first playthrough. I think it's the happy ending. I'm not entirely sure. Dark Souls, of course, being that amazing game that it is. Never telling you really which is the happy ending and which is the bad ending. I'm killing off my PlayStation Dust very close to the power button, which is probably a really stupid thing to do. But for some reason, I was like, hey, let's wipe my PlayStation down right now <laughs> in the middle of a recording. While in the kiln of the first fire in Dark Souls. So, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to change via equipment wise. I think we're fine. We should put Elizabeth mushrooms on. You know, they're great. We have them. I don't even know about them. They could be the game deciding factor for us in a Lord Gwyn fight. Now, if I beat Gwyn on my first go, that's going to be amazing. But realistically, it will not happen. That's okay. I mean, I'm not sure if Gwyn is much stronger than Manus or not. Like, between Manus and Lord Gwyn, I don't know who's stronger. I'm assuming Lord Gwyn is stronger. But, Manus is DLC content. Usually, DLC content does introduce the hardest bosses of the Soulsborne series. As uh, you can only get that in the DLC content. DLC content usually comes out after the... Um, main game release meaning that when the when dark souls dlc came out dark souls had been out for a while and everyone had already beaten lord gwyn by that point and knowing how and understood the game the mechanics of the game better and thus making it a probably easier fight we have 22 heals to make our way to gwyn guys i think we're fine <laughs> I think we're fine. I think it all comes down to will Gwyn one-shot us or will Gwyn not one-shot us. Now, I've never leveled up again, by the way. Like, since we did our last level up, which was like four or five episodes ago. I, n I just never leveled up again. I didn't I didn't have a need to, so... Obviously, if one does not need to do something, one does not. Okay, just, just check, just check me around, guys. Looking if there's any items, looking if there's any cool stuff we don't have yet, don't see anything. Got, you gotta check every nook. I think this is one of the most deaths I've experienced in the kiln, is this part right here. Because you fight this guy on this ledge, which is never a good idea by the way. And then obviously that leads to a situation of you just getting knocked off and then die. You of course do not want to get just knocked off and die, so... Always a problem. I kind of respect whoever this is, by the way. This person right here. This person. Oh, it's a black knight. Never mind. I thought it was the soul of a hero. I always thought that was the soul of a hero or soul of something. Because uh, that means that person made it all the way to the first kill before dying. You know, he almost finished his pilgrimage, if you would. Pretty good. Uh, we should oh, no. I popped one of these heals instead of a humanity heal. Okay, I made a mistake. It's okay, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I thought I heard a black knight walking around. I was like, I hear you. I accidentally used the Estus. You know, I think 14 Estus should be enough to kill Gwyn anyway. Um, Gwyn is a very easy boss. You can literally kill him with like parries. It's really easy. But I'm not going to be doing that because it's not my style. Mainly when I say it's not my style, I mean I can't do it. I'm bad at parrying. Now what I can do is I can just practice him a couple of times. And I'll eventually get the timing down. We'll be able to beat him via parrying. Equip the Hornet Ring. Make it almost happen like guaranteed. But... 
I'm just gonna try and keep the sack adventures of sack boy adventures going. You know, we've made this whole way by doing it this style. Let's see if we can continue this style all the way up until we'll win. Can we finish the game by maintaining the style we chose to use this whole time? I think we can, guys. I think we can. So, Lord Gwen fight. Let's go. It's the Adventures of Sackboy and the Giant Club. The weapon that gave me heartache and pain as well as happiness and happiness. So, grab me. So, grab me. Wait it out. What are you doing, Lord Gwen? Almost. Okay, one more hit. Less, that's fine. And he will get me. Oh, will I get him? I got him. First cut. Easy. Okay. So Lord Gwen is definitely much weaker than Manus as expected and Calumet as expected because as I mentioned they are DLC content heroes. Usually DLC content heroes are weaker than the actual game boss. A little bit anticlimactic. <laughs> uh, oops I guess guys. Oops I guess. So um, yeah we killed Gwen now. Kind of a mistake on my side but oh well. Enjoy the outro I guess guys. So I'm just going to drop this sound here. After letting it play for a bit, I'm going to have to edit that because I don't want to get copyright striked and it's just very scary with new YouTube rules and regulations and channels getting banned left, right and center. I just want to say before we end this that Dark Souls is my favorite game of all time. It's I love this game. I absolutely love this game. I love games. Saying a lot from someone who's been playing games for 20 years to say that this is the best game I've ever played. It's no over exaggeration it's not following the trend of oh dark souls it's the best game oh dark souls it's an amazing game it simply comes down to dark souls is a life-changing game it can bring out the absolute worst in you rage controller breaking rage and emotion heartache pain agony as well as excitement utter bliss and happiness a level of happiness you might not be used to a level of happiness you might not even understand potentially but a level of happiness that when you obtain it when you finally beat that boss you struggled on for so long you know you just feel like this game this game is all you want it's all you need it's, it's all that there is and I'm, i really love dark souls for that and i really love what it brings out of, of me and of many other people so with that though, that is the Dark Souls Remastered Let's Play. Very, very fun. I do apologize about the very anticlimactic Lord Gwyn fight. I am very clearly over leveled and it's why I personally really love a level 1 Let's Play of Dark Souls. As yes, you can manipulate your equipment. Yes, you can understand enemy weaknesses and put the flame weapon on versus Gwyn and the Hornet Ring parry to kill Gwyn easily with almost no hassle at all. But you need to learn those timings. You need to understand the resistances, the mechanics, the items, the carry weight, the rolling, the mid roll, fast roll, and fat roll. What equipment to use? Which equipments give which benefits? How? 
buffs such as gold pioneers and etc can massively increase your dps for the dps race knowledge about the game maneuverability and where to go how to go and what path to take which bosses to prioritize early and which bosses to leave for a little bit later when you're doing a level one playthrough and i feel like it's the most pure way to play dark souls and if you have not done it i would 100 percent advise it of course it was always fun to just overpower yourself and beat gwen in like six hits while tanking all the damage and using one esters i mean that's great don't get me wrong i'm sure many people like playing a game like that and there's nothing wrong with it to each their own each person may play dark souls how they want and play any game how they want but for me i didn't enjoy that gwen fight <laughs> and it's the final boss fight in the game you know it's the one you kind of look forward to. it's the one you care about it's the one you need so you know that does obviously matter it does always uh hurt a little bit for us and it does cause a situation where you sit and you ask yourself was that it is that what i just spent all this time <laughs> grinding out doing making this happen for what to beat a boss without any hassle but you know, it's all good things, as I mentioned earlier, I do have to come to an end. This Dark Souls, this place coming to an end as soon as we make it to the Filing Shrine. I'm going to end the episode there. I just want to quickly run through here because this is your one and only chance. Actually, not if you guys have any actual knowledge of the game and you are good. You know that you can beat this boss, if you want to, very early in the uh, in your first attempt because he is super easy to kill. Like fire bombs. you take that as your starting uh, item. So he jumps down. Now that we've got this really cool thing, we're like, how's up, my dude? How's life treating you? He's like, I'm a silent demon. I'm so strong. And you're like, I'll use a chaos thing. And it kind of almost, and you'll be embarrassed. You beat him in three hits, and you will move on. And you'll get a demon great hammer. The demon great hammers are 100% drop if you kill him in this first form before he transforms. Now, for some reason, he doesn't give us the key. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why, but for some reason, he does not give us the key. It's kind of awkward. We, do we unlock this mod file or why not? Why not, guys? Let's do it. Let's do it. So, we have 108,000 souls. You know, technically, you could argue like, hey, why don't you try and get to enough uh, faith to get the final miracles? Well, I could. You are actually 100% right. And I might actually just do that off camera. There's no reason for me to do it on camera, so I might do it. But at the same time, it's not necessary. It really isn't. So what did you guys think of the Dark Souls Remastered Let's Play? In the comments, let me know. Did you enjoy the Let's Play? Was it fun? Was it uh, boring for you? Uh, any helpful suggestions, hints and tips of what you would have liked to have seen? Um, was it too slow? Was it too quick? All those type of things. You can let me know in the comments below. Of course, I always appreciate any kind of... Criticism and positive feedback. So be sure to let me know what you guys thought about this. And uh, if you enjoyed it, I really, really do hope you did, though. If you did, uh, please be sure to hit that like button for this Dark Souls series. Dark Souls Remastered. Um, it's not the original Dark Souls, of course. I had Dark Souls Prepared to Die Edition, actually. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, the remastered version, I think it. Potentially come up at 60 frames per second on a PlayStation 4 Pro, which I unfortunately do not own. So I've just got a plain old normal PlayStation 4, which means I was playing the game at 30 frames per second. But much, I'm assuming just more pretty. I'm assuming they fixed a couple of, I wouldn't say bugs, but maybe things that you know some people might have felt like, I wish this worked like this in the game or this worked like this in the game, you know, something along those lines. Um, so yeah we're gonna make our way to the filing shrine and once we hit that filing shrine we are going to be ending the episode there um it's just i've always feel like the filing shrine is the true start of dark souls i don't feel like this asylum is at all start in demon souls you have an option to do a tutorial area where you fight a boss that one shots you just like the asylum demon wall when you have no items and stuff but the difference of course being that you can actually kill that boss and you get a little bit of a, a little bit of a bonus for it when you do start you still die because you fight the dragon god and he one-shots you. But it doesn't matter. So for now, thank you all very, very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. I will see you on the next episode of Dark Souls Remastered. Which will be a let's play determined by you, the viewer. You can tell me in the comments what you want to see. You can tell me in the comments what you want me to do. And I will, of course, make that up for now though. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.